Hello everybody, welcome to postnatal yoga. This is just a short 10 minute video. It's just gonna help you release your body a little bit. I am only nine days postnatal, so really nothing strenuous, just getting some range of motion back into your body. So let's begin by just closing our eyes. Finding a comfortable seat, maybe you just sit up in your bed. I'm sitting on a comfortable bench, you can grab a comfy chair. And then when you're ready, getting settled, connecting with your breath. And if you're familiar with ujjayi breathing, beginning that breath work. Allowing all of your senses to be here in this moment. And with your eyes closed, just shutting off one of the senses and going more inward to connect to your own self-care. Slowly bringing the hands to the heart center in Anjali Mudra. Taking a moment to connect to your heart, feeling gratitude for the opportunity to take this time out for yourself. And letting go of any comparison, judgment, or expectations. And allowing yourself to just take these few moments to replenish your mind, body, and spirit. And just continuing to breathe in and out through the nose, lengthening the inhale, lengthening the exhale. Taking one more moment, if you'd like to set an intention for this practice or for the rest of your day. And as you let go of expectations of the outcome, release your hands, palms up, and just slowly flutter your eyes open. And let's begin. Just take your arms to a comfortable position. Start to roll your shoulders, taking the shoulders up and back. This should feel good, especially if you're nursing or pumping right now, getting the shoulder blades to squeeze together on your back body. Let's take a couple more big shoulder rolls. And one more engaging the rhomboids that pull your shoulder blades together. Take a nice deep breath in, inhaling, reaching to the sky, and exhaling, drawing the hands to the heart center. Let's do that a couple more times, inhaling, gathering up that energy, prana, life force, and exhale. Anything you wanna let go of, bringing the hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, reach, and exhale, drawing the hands to the heart center. Releasing the hands wherever they're comfortable. Let's begin some movements for the neck. So take an inhale and expand through the front of your throat. Lift your chin, gaze up, big eyes, you can maybe open your mouth. And then exhale, drawing the chin towards the chest. We do a lot of this as we're nursing or pumping, right? <laughs> Head is down. So let's go ahead and inhale, lift the chin up, expand through the front of the throat, shoulders back, and exhale, chin to chest. Take one more big inhale. This time open up through the arms, Elbows back, shoulders back. Oh, 
oh, how wonderful, pose, and then exhale, taking the head forward, chin to chest, rounding the shoulders forward. We know this one well. <laughs> Take an inhale, come to neutral spine, turn your palms up, and then on an inhale, reach forward, lean forward, Inhale, reach to the sky, and on an exhale, take your hands to your upper hips and just expand through the chest, lift the chin. Again, inhale, scoop forward. Big breath, expansive breath. Exhale, take your hands to your upper hips. Let your belly be full. One more time, inhale, gather up more energy. Inhale, reach, reach, reach and exhale, elbows reaching back and together, very nice. And then release back to neutral spine, palms up if you'd like or wherever your hands are comfortable. And let's start some easy rolls here, side to side with the head. Releasing any tension you feel in the upper trapezius area towards your neck. Maybe it feels good to close the eyes and connect with your breath as you move. I'm taking a couple more head rolls over. And finding that neutral neck. Placing your hands nice and wide, just to the sides of your hips. Take an inhale reaching up, right arm up and over, a little lateral flexion, and then releasing down. So moving from those smaller range of motion exercises, movements, to something a little bit more expansive. And if at any time you don't feel comfortable with these movements, you can stop, connect with your breath, maybe choose another movement that feels good in your body. Good. One more. And exhale. Take your hands to your knees, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, expand through the belly, and then exhale, just round through the back. No need to engage through the belly, especially if you're still within that six to eight week mark of giving birth. Don't want to engage those muscles quite yet until your doctor has approved that. So we're more just creating range of motion in the spine. A couple more times, inhaling, expand, open, receive, exhale, and let go. Just take a moment, pause. I brought some water with me, so if you have water nearby, grab a sip of water. As you know, we need to drink a lot of water if we're nursing, pumping. So just replenishing your body for a moment. And when you're ready, coming to a position where your knees are up above your ankles. And I'm gonna just have you look down towards my legs and you can either cross your right ankle over your left ankle or bring that leg all the way up to a number four position. Now if that's too much then again go back to ankle to ankle. Just take a nice big inhale, reach up, lengthen to the sky and then on an exhale use your arms to just rest yourself forward. As we hold this hip opener, we have a nice strong ankle, foot is flexed. Let's come out one more time. Inhale to lengthen the spine. And then exhale. Now if you're only a week or two or even three weeks postnatal, you just want to be very gentle with yourself. Really, we're just working on some range of motion, getting back into our bodies. So nothing forced. Maybe what you 
could do before you had the baby is different than now and just being patient with yourself. So let's go to the other side, crossing either at the ankle or up on top of the upper thigh bone. Nice strong ankle, hands to shin. Inhale, draw the heart forward, maybe even reach up if you did that last time. And then exhale, just melting forward. Just initially feeling that sensation, let it be just perfect where you are. Again, no need to force into something too deep. Really just connecting to the subtleties of your body at this point. Maybe this is your first class back and first moment where you've been able to really take this time for yourself to move. So again, just enjoy feeling this opening in your hip as you take one more big breath, inhale. Maybe reach up if you feel like coming all the way out again. And then exhaling, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face, maybe even close the eyes. Allowing your attention to go down to the hips, acknowledging your hips and their part in the birth of your baby. And taking an inhale, sitting up, uncrossing the legs. Let's take the knees a little bit wider. We're just going to do some gentle twists. I don't even want to call them twists. They're just some really light rotations. Just looking over your shoulder, just creating a little bit of abduction here to stretch the inner thighs. And then coming to that neutral position, you choose how you would like to finish off the class today. If you'd like to scoot onto your bed and do a Shavasana, I'm just going to end in a cross-legged position. You can end in a meditation pose, take a few moments to meditate. And when you feel ready, closing your eyes, maybe creating a mudra with your hands. Coming back to your breath, coming back to stillness. And as you inhale and exhale, letting go of any thoughts, good, bad, just let go and create some space in your mind. Taking as much time as you need to replenish your body. If you want to pause this video and continue on with your meditation or Shavasana, go ahead and do that now. If you're ready to close the practice, drawing the hands to the heart center. And thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Namaste.